Hey there, kids. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta. And I just wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor before we go on to tonight's story. Also because the new sponsor actually is a really important thing to me. So we're just coming out of May, which is the end of Mental Health Awareness Month. But of course, I want you guys to realize that mental health issues don't just end in May. It's actually a very large problem today. And being able to seek help or feeling lost and not knowing where to go to for help is also a really big problem. So one of the new channel sponsors, and I'm really glad to have them, is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest e-counseling platform and is able to offer accessible, affordable, and convenient counseling for struggles with any of life's challenges. So if you've had any problems feeling sad, anxious, angry, and you want to be able to change that, BetterHelp can be able to offer you a helping hand. To try it and sign up, use the link in the description down below. Thanks BetterHelp for the sponsorship, and okay guys, let's get on to tonight's story. I don't know how long I have left to write this. It's night, and it's nearly been a week now. The later it gets, the more paranoid I become. I know what's coming. I just don't know when. Okay, before I start this off, I'll give you some background. One week ago, last Sunday, I invited my friends over to my place. I called them J and C. Just some silly fun, going out to get lunch, fooling around. I really should have been studying for my upcoming exams, but we had a short two-day holiday, so I decided it couldn't hurt to invite them. After we'd gone out to get some lunch, I saw a really funny video of some people playing the Charlie Charlie Challenge. It looked like fun. We knew that these games were bullshit anyway, so we decided to give it a try. Charlie Charlie game gave no results. We tried a few more. We were about to give up and play poker, and I found something that looked interesting. The Sarah Sarita game. I won't explain it in detail here because, well, you can search it up. The main rules are two people face each other, each holding a coin. Jay and I played, while C watched, barely stifling a laugh. Start playing, you both flip a coin. They're both heads. You can play. Otherwise, you have to ask again. Then you can take turns asking questions and flipping the coin. Heads means yes. Tails means no. They're mostly asking stupid funny questions, but I decided to go all in. I asked, Sarah Sarita, will I die next week? I flipped it. Heads. I mostly laughed it off. It was just a coin, so it was all coincidence, right? Still, though, I was a bit uneasy. Now to exit the game, you need to flip the coins at the same time. And you can only finish once they both land on heads. We kept trying so many times, but... But it was always tails. Just as we were going to give up, it finally landed on heads. We got up. We resumed what we were doing earlier. And a couple hours later, we were talking about dreams and hallucinations, which we all thought were really cool. Jay started talking about how we can actually have hallucinations by breathing in a special way. I believe it's called a holotropic breathwork. It sounded cool, so we all gave it a go. I went first. After about ten minutes, the hallucination started. I found myself in an infinitely large field, stretching endlessly into the distance. Off to my right was a small, faceless girl. I tried to go over to her, but she suddenly looked at me. She didn't have eyes, but she knew I was there. The faint marks on her face contorted to look like a smile, and the, the hallucination abruptly stopped. It was so surreal and very uncomforting. I'll admit it. I was scared shitless. Over the next week, I was always on edge. My mental health was deteriorating. I looked like a train wreck. I wasn't doing any homework. I was losing so much sleep because I would always see her in my dreams. I talked to J and C, and they both said that they'd seen her too, and I remember the question I asked, how I said that I would die in the following week. I could barely take it anymore. I was seeing menacing shadows in the corner of my eye, and they disappear. I'd feel like I was being watched. 
Well, it's Sunday now, and according to this ghost, I should be dead soon. Lights are on. The doors are locked. I'm not sleeping tonight. I keep hearing noises. Just now, though, I remembered something. There's still one more question I can ask. I grabbed the coin. The one that I used to play last week. Sir Sarita. Am I still playing the game? I think you can imagine what side it landed on. Hey there, everyone who's listening on YouTube, or those of you who are listening on the podcast. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and before you head out for the night, I just wanted to let you know about a couple of things. Without you, the show doesn't take place. So, if you guys would like to support the show, or if you guys would like to get your hands on a couple of cool little things whenever new things come out, check out patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta, and any support that you guys show, I really appreciate it. So everyone who's already donated to the Patreon... I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I thank you so much for that. If you guys are looking for more Creepypasta Storytime, there's a new video that's uploaded to this channel or uploaded to the podcast every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday now. You can be able to get more from me at facebook.com slash mrcreepypasta or on Twitter at mrcreepypasta and then the number zero. Thanks so much for listening, kids, and for your support. And sweet dreams. <laughs>